Oh, hello. Pipe smokers, it's me, Mike. Tobacco pack collectors here. With another video. I know I'm throwing them at you. But uh, this is an important one. It's been in the works for months. Um, it's time to disclose. Holger Gunya, I'm going to guess. The Swamp Thing Ducktail Poker is what I'm smoking. And I'm smoking Jonathan Drew's new Central Park stroll through it. It's a nice aromatic. I'm going to set the pipe down for a minute. This is going to be a little more serious video than usual. I'm not bitching about anything. It's nothing bad. It's actually really good. It's going to be a, a benefit for all of TPC. I, I guess maybe I will start with how long I've been doing this. Coming up on three years now. Um, there's some blogs on the website that talk about how I came about doing tobacco pipe collectors, why I became, why I did it. Um, videos that go back and say about what is TPC. Uh, the longer I've spent in this hobby, the more I've seen that I can do something different. I can make a change. I can do things better for everybody. The consumer, the pipe maker, the brick and mortar shop. Um, and I've it's came to a point now where I I'm not paying for it out of my pocket now which is fantastic. Um, because I did that for two and a half years, those of us that were with, TP, that were with TPC. Um, it is now self-sufficient, which is great, and we've got a bunch of gear ordered that we will be offering to all you guys. Um, all you guys have been asking for, all that you want. I am so very grateful for all the support TPC gets from the pipe makers, from the... GPC members, TPC members, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, I get negativity occasionally. I've had to deal with a lot of it. I don't make a big deal of it. I don't like drama. I try and leave it alone. This potentially could bring up drama. I'm not going to let it because I will tell you now if you have any questions about what I'm about to talk about, email me. I'm not going to get in a pissing match in the comments. Mike at tobaccopipecollectors.com and I will answer anything you want to know. Um, I feel it is the follower of TPC's right to know um, some of the moves we're making at Tobacco Pipe Collectors. This has turned into something I never dreamed it would turn into. Um, I still sleep very, very well at night because I'm doing it the way I want to do it. I'm doing it the way I think it should be done. Um, and we'll continue to do that. Nothing's going to change on tobacco pipe collectors except for things getting better. So my news for today is I've had a gentleman advise me through the growth of TPC. Um, a lot of it I did was dumb luck. I do not have a marketing degree. I have never owned my own business before. I don't know 
anything except for I love pipes and I know about pipes and I'm passionate about the community. Um, so I've asked people for help and this person's been helping me for over a year behind the scenes. Um, right now, to complete the team that I've formed, um, Jonathan Metzler is the money guy. He pays the pipe makers. He orders um, stock. He's the one that's got the huge order in for t-shirts and a bunch of other cool stuff. Half the stuff he hasn't even told me what it is yet. And he is co-owner of a brick and mortar tobacco shop. He knows retail. He knows the tobacco industry. Ken, the other co-owner of Tinderbox. He does ordering. He does... They've all got their connections in different places. Those two have been on from early. This person has been helping me with no recognition whatsoever. Um, and in the last month, we've been working out details. And I'm going to announce today that we have brought Chris Morgan on as a partner in Tobacco Pipe Collectors. Um, not Morgan Pipes, Chris Morgan. Uh, we've already, we already sell Morgan Pipes. Um, we're bringing Chris Morgan as an individual that has connections, that's been in the pipe business for a long time, that is a high grade pipe maker, that fits that mold. I mean, I'm, I'm a long time collector, a long time pipe smoker. I'm not a high grade pipe maker. He brings to the table a lot of knowledge of that, and we're at the point where we need we need that. Um, I need I need some help. I'm uh, I'm slacking off in different areas that I didn't want to slack off on. I want to be more involved in the forums and on Facebook, and I can't do that because I'm busy doing you know, uh, making calls or contacting pipe makers or this or that. So he's going to help me in that aspect. He's got some connections in different countries that I do not have. Um, so he brings to the table a amazing amount of pipe knowledge is added to the team. Um, we're circling the horses, if you will. Um, because I have received some attacks. Um, tobacco Pipe Collectors is now getting big enough that we are showing up on the radar. And uh, it's just the, w the way it is. That's the w Because of how we run our page, our club, our retail, it has become larger than I ever dreamed it would be and I've wanted to make sure all the T's are crossed and I's are dotted and what was missing was somebody with an amazing amount of pipe knowledge what this brings to some of the Sorry about that technical difficulties I take too many pictures phone is full again I think where I was was what this brings to the newer makers is we can give more advice on what I think is <clears throat> one of the more pressing and important subjects in in artisan pipes right now and that is the pricing of pipes. Um, you guys that have been around that we carry, we're not going to you guys know what your pipes are worth. You guys have earned the right to charge what you charge for your pipes. It's not going to affect any of that. It's actually help that's going to have to be asked for. We're not going to go and change the price of your pipe because we think it's too high. Nothing is going to change besides continued growth of tobacco pipe collectors 
I'm going to have more help. We've got more opportunities as a club, as a group. Um, the, the connections he brings to the table are significant. He's been in the game a long time. Um, I can guarantee there will be no... Nothing will change. I mean, I will still share the pipes that I share. I will still push the retailers I push. Um, this just this just completes our team. Um, we've got somebody that is good at everything, and and it frees me up, and that's big. I mean, I've got a family. Those of you that even know me, the ones that have taken the time to get to know me. I'm a family man. I have a five-year-old daughter. I have two older boys and a wife. I have a day job that I am not leaving. Um, every penny that TPC has made has been rolled back in to gear and other stuff that we want to do for the club, the forums, I suggest you go take advantage of them. There's some great folks over there. Um, I know, again, if you've got questions as a pipe maker or a member of TPC, a person that follows TPC, not just somebody that wants to cause shit, wants to email me and ask me any questions. I'll answer them. Um, we're, we, it's the reason I'm doing this video. We could have easily hid this as a silent partnership, as bringing him on. Nobody had to know. Um, none of us felt comfortable doing it that way. You guys have always supported us, and we will continue to be transparent and let you know what's going on with tobacco pipe collectors. You don't see that. You guys don't see a lot of what goes on behind the scenes because, like I said, I don't like the drama. I don't like the negativity. That's the reason I made this page two and a half years ago. It's to get away from that bullshit negativity. Chris Morgan brings a ton to the table. And I, for one, am very, very excited for it. And anybody else that knows anything about Chris Morgan should be excited about it as well. Um, the conflict of interest question will be brought up. There will be no conflict of interest. We carried Morgan Pipes before we had Chris Morgan on board, so we'll continue. If anything else, we'll get more Chris Morgan Pipes, which is good. He makes a fantastic pipe. Um, we will u we'll use him. I mean, he's going to be a asset to tobacco pipe collectors. And that I promise you. Um, so again, it's Chris Morgan. It's not Morgan Pipes. It's Chris Morgan as a person. My friend from Los Gatos that's helped me for a year. He's taught me a lot about the business. He stopped me from doing a handful of stupid things that were very tempting to do and uh, this video is getting long I was going to try and keep it short but I'm really excited I really am really excited about this uh, and I hope I hope most of you I know you longtime followers will understand I feel like I've earned your trust I I wish, there's a lot of stuff I wish I could say more about, but we'd be blackballed from the pipe community, I believe, if too many people knew some of the things we do to help pipe makers out. And it, and it may be out, but if it is, it is. I, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm pumped. We've circled our wagons. We're ready to battle. Um... and we'll, we'll stand our ground. Nothing's changed. My, my four favorite things in this world, 
you guys, pipe smokers, independent pipe makers, independent artisans, hobby pipe makers, pipe makers, hand crafting, spending hours in their shops making pipes, brick and mortar shops, very, very important. And the smaller online retailers that are helping move artisan pipes. It's going to stay the same. Um, matter of fact, I'll be able to function better. I, I lose sleep at night if I can't get messages back to people. I am going to enjoy the help. And to come from a guy like Chris that I've talked with for over a year, um, became good friends with for a year, and confided in not only business but personal matters for months. He's a, he's a good person. He's a straight shooter. Um, love him or hate him, he's a good guy and he's smart and he makes a hell of a pipe. So that brings a lot to the table for you pipe makers just starting out. And you established pipe makers. No, you know, like I said, you know how much your pipes are worth. So it is what it is. I'm really excited about the move. We put a lot of thought into it. We weighed the options. This is what we think is best for tobacco pipe collectors. A lot of you guys have put a lot of time into following us and promoting us and we appreciate that and I don't want that all to go away. Um, tobacco Pipe Collectors is here to stay, we ain't going anywhere. Um, our team's stronger than ever, our backing is stronger than ever, we won't back down, my standards are high and will continue to be such and that's that there it is that's the news it's big news uh, from a club slash business standpoint it's really it's big news so um, I hope you guys are excited about it as I am I know Chris is pumped to be a part of it um, he loves the community. He loves this group on tobacco pipe collectors. He's he's done so much behind the scenes. Um, now he can he'll he gets credit for it. He'll get a little more credit for it. So I'll probably still try and take all the credit. No, I'm just joking. But Chris Morgan, if all of you'd welcome him aboard, he's been he's been a follower of TPC for since it started. Um, he's GPC card holder purchased his card number six he believes in what I'm doing and wants to see us go as far as we can as a club as a group and that's what we're gonna do and we're not gonna quit and we're not gonna run away and there's no big guys that we're afraid of so that's that I'm going to give you guys a couple of these. Holger, a hell of a pipe. I'm going to finish this off. Jonathan Drew, it's a good blend. Can't wait to try the meat pie. And we'll talk to you all later. Sweet smokes.